Hello green stylers, Cynthia here with a quick technique tutorial for pleating the paste skirt. You should have your pleat piece already cut out and we'll begin by marking the long pleat lines that are located on the pattern piece. I don't find it necessary to mark the short pleat lines, but if you'd like to you can, just make sure you can distinguish them once you take the pattern piece away. Since the pattern piece is cut on the fold, you'll need to make sure you mark the pleat lines on both sides of the fold. We'll begin working from the center, which I've marked with a clip, and start working toward the right. Starting at the first mark from the center, you'll grasp and pinch the fabric to create a fold right at that mark. Now bring that fold over to the next marking and lay it right on top of it. You'll have two pins laying right on top of each other. Use one of the pins to hold that fold in place and use the other pin to hold the back fold in place. Locate the back fold just off toward the center from the fold that you just pinned. You'll want to pin that in place to make sure it doesn't shift when you baste all of the pleats. You've now created half of the front center pleat. Let's keep moving on toward the right. Using the same technique, you'll grasp and create a fold on the fabric at the pleat marking and bring it over to the next pleat marking. Use both pins to pin the top pleat and the back pleat in place. Note that being careful with the back pleat is important in creating a nice smooth look on your pleats overall. You want to make sure it's nice and smoothed out and that all the raw edges are flat and line up along the top edge of the pleat piece. Continue the same process two more times toward the right. Just like that, we've completed half the pleats. Starting at the center on the other side, we'll do this same exact thing, but going in the opposite direction. Starting again at the first marking from the center, grasp the fabric to create a fold at that marking and bring it over to the next mark. What you're doing now is creating the other side of the center pleat. This is my favorite pleat of the whole skirt. And notice that just like on the first side that we did, on this side, the outside or top pleats are folding away from the center while the inside or underneath pleats are folding toward the center. And that's how you create the pleats for the green style pace. Did any eagle eyes out there notice that my pattern piece was slightly different? It's because I'm actually making a pace skirt modification where I have pleats on the front and back of the skirt. For more on that, check out the link in the video description. That's it from me today. I'm Cynthia wishing you happy pleating from all of us at Green Style.